Hi, my name is Abahi and I am a claims adjuster. You want to work floods, so you need to know this. We're going to go over the pieces of the dwelling form as well as what companies want you to have to get your flood certificate because you do need a flood certificate to be able to work flood claims. Stay tuned. Back when I was a new insurance adjuster, I was trying everything to figure out a way to get work. Easy to get the license in hindsight, very difficult to get work. Someone mentioned flood claims. I don't know how many floods happen per year, but I knew you needed to get an evaluation certification in order to work flood claims. Now, um, you will, you could take this class from FEMA as listed on here. Some rosters also offer it. If you're a public adjuster, you don't need the certificate. Only if you're going to adjust claims on behalf of FEMA, who is the overall carrier for the NFIP or the National Flood Insurance Program. It's offered through different carriers, but it's underwritten from FEMA. Uh, it is not an easy to understand type of scenario. Like you have to understand different building diagrams. And that is, uh, there's nine of them. This is like the ninth one. And simplicity, or let me put it simply, they want you to know the difference between a raised basement versus uh, one that's a crawl space versus a walkout basement versus a sunk in basement. They have different elevations. One of the reasons why I wanted to be a flood adjuster is because these claims go quick and um, they pay really well. At least they did back in the day. They're probably at like an hourly rate. There's two people who help with the flood claim. There's those who go out. They do not actually determine coverage. That's the inside desk adjuster who's gonna determine the coverage for that. I am getting rid of this because I no longer need to have a NFIP certification. I've worked flood claims without it. A question that I get a lot is how do I get experience without experience? You got to do your reading. That's the number one. When they are listing the job description, reading the policy isn't on there. They'll say interpret. And most of the time it's based on their interpretation versus what the actual words are. So your dwelling form is the actual policy. It has definitions. It's going to go over the conditions. Uh, the other parts of the policy is the insuring agreement. It's also going to do the um, in exclusions. You uh, will get paid if you... Now, I thought there would be a lot more flood claims than there actually turned out to be. I never worked a flood claim for the insurance carriers, although I have worked hurricane claims, which also flooded homes. But um, a flood is defined differently by this policy, and most people don't even have the flood policy that's issued by... FEMA. Reminder, you can go directly to FEMA for these classes. You can look on rosters for these classes. You still will use Xactimate, so still practice your Xactimate and estimation skills because no matter what, you're going to need that. Getting the skills for estimation is not a waste of time. You can start making money with estimations before you even have a license. So just keep that in mind. On my next videos, I am going to go over what they expect from like a Renfro employee. Okay, because I used to do some training with them and as well for my field adjusters with it about to get a rope and harness certification. So look out for those videos in this hurricane uh, edition. This is hurricane season. So go out there and kick some claim ass.